here again. I've got an awesome little bread recipe to share with you today. Uh, I showed you how to make a bread mix uh, a few episodes ago, which you can find on our website. So now I'm actually going to make that bread mix into something. So it's been sitting here getting all nice and fluffy and beautiful and big. Now we need to punch it down and cut it in half. I only need three rolls today, so I'm only going to use half the mixture. So we just give it a light kneading and cut it in half. We'll use the other half to make something else up a little bit later on. Knead that out, cut that into three pieces, and then all you have to do is shape it into three rough little balls and put them on a tray. Then put them away somewhere where it's going to be out of a draft. No breeze or anything like that and slightly warm. Now um, I'm using the trivet out of the bottom of the hillbilly today but we just need to put a little bit of spray oil on that. It's got a little bit of foil on it. Pop your little rolls onto it. Give them plenty of room because they will expand. Now comes the cheese and bacon part. Just flatten them down a little bit and get your cheese and your bacon and you can put as much or as little on the top as you like. Nice big handful of bacon on each one. Press it in a little bit so that it sticks and get your cheese and do exactly the same thing. So that's as easy as it is. You can put anything on the top of these little rolls as well. You can put uh, sun-dried tomatoes, some olives, but always have a little bit of cheese. So those we're going to go and put away. I'm actually gonna put them in the car. Cars make great places to rise dough. So I'm gonna put them away and then we're gonna put them in a nice hot oven soon. Well, our cheese and bacon rolls have been standing for about 20 minutes and they've all fluffed up. They're absolutely beautiful. Just ready to be put into the camp oven. Nice hot camp oven of around about 200 degrees. Always remember, wear gloves when you're dealing with all your hot camp oven stuff. So this just goes straight inside on top of the rack and they will cook in there for about 25 minutes. I can smell them cooking and that's usually a pretty good indicator that they're just about done. And you know, sometimes I do actually am quite impressed with myself. So you couldn't get better than that out of a bakery, could you? And I bet they won't last five minutes either. So you too can make things as wonderful as this. The recipes are in my book and that's available through camping stores and bookshops. So I'm Jo and I will see you next time with another awesome recipe.